Let's talk about the vegetables that have the lowest net carb ratio. Now, when we're talking about net carb, we're talking about taking the total carb and minusing the fiber. Why do we do that? Because fiber has a zero effect on insulin and blood sugars. Our bodies cannot digest fiber. We feed it to our microbes that then turn it into some, some food for our colon cells but fiber does not affect insulin or blood sugars. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, in this category right here, okay, these are all the vegetables that have less than one carb per cup. That's pretty low, okay? Beet greens, arugula, lettuce, look at this, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Bok choy, 0 0.8. Chard, endive, mustard green, spinach. Sprouts have 0.1. Romaine lettuce and watercress, okay? Less than one carb. You're allowed 20 grams per day, okay? We're not even talking about one carb per cup. So sometimes when people do keto, they're afraid to eat too many vegetables because it's carb. But, but look at this. If you're consuming these, it's basically insignificant. It is not going to stop you from losing weight. It provides other benefits, fiber and nutrients. A vitamin C, folate, a lot of minerals, potassium, magnesium, things like that. Then we have the group of vegetables over here with less than three carbs, okay? And a lot of them are like one point something and two. And this is per cup. Avocado is two grams of carb per cup, um, which is kind of like one uh, medium-sized avocado. Asparagus, 2.4. Celery, 1.4. Chili pepper, 1.4 grams of carb. Okay, and this is net carb. Cucumber is 3.0, eggplants 2.3, mushrooms 2.2, pickles 1.9, radish 2.0, zucchini 2.4, um, cabbage is 3.0. So you can see these are pretty low too because we are allowed 20 to 50 grams of carbs. So you don't have to worry about gaining weight or being out of ketosis when you're consuming vegetables. In fact, I don't even count them at all because I think they're necessary. Now, let's take the flip side of that. What vegetables have the highest carb, okay? Net carb. Artichokes are 11 grams per cup, okay? Still, it's still within the range. Pumpkin, 6.9. Rutabaga, 8.9. Turnip, 6.0. Tomato, 4.8. Again, this is, you really don't have to worry about tomatoes. I mean, it's not that high per cup. Okay, beet is nine. It's a little higher, but guess what? With the fiber, it's still in the range. But potato, we want to stay away from that. That's 33. Okay, stay away from potato. Corn is 21. That's pretty high, right? But this is GMO, so you want to stay away from that too. Squash is 4.8. That's fine. But look at this, peas are 14, it's pretty high. So I would say out of all these vegetables right here, peas are probably the ones that you probably don't wanna consume large quantities if you're on keto, but still one cup is 14. You'd still be okay if you did that. All right, so I have a lot of interesting videos and vegetables. If you wanna check out some more, I put them on the screen right here.